Today, family and friends will say goodbye to a 13-year-old boy who was killed in Northeast earlier this month. The funeral for Karan Blake will take place at Israel Baptist Church. Blake died after police say a D.C. government employee shot and killed him on Quincy Street. The community is still seeking answers. News Force Juliana Valencia is live this morning with more on today's services. Juliana. Hey there, Pat. So we are in front of Israel Baptist Church in the Brentwood neighborhood. And since about 930 this morning, people have slowly been streaming into the church's celebration of life, expected to start at 11 this morning, 11 a.m. this morning for people to pay their respects. A steady stream of loved ones, family, friends, and classmates here for 13-year-old Karan Blake. A Monday morning celebration of life held at the Israel Baptist Church. Mourners telling us he was a sweet child, too emotional to talk on camera. Karan Blake was shot and killed earlier this month on Quincy Street Northeast by a D.C. government employee. Police say the two argued after the man said he saw someone tampering with vehicles outside his home early in the morning. The man is on administrative leave, but he has not been arrested or charged in Karan's death. Karan was a student at Brooklyn Middle School. His family said he was a scholar who loved fashion and football. <laughs> About two weeks ago, family and friends honored Karan at this vigil. Karan's brother and sister shared how much they miss him. I don't want to keep waking up knowing that my brother's not here with me no more. I don't. It hurts. One thing that I like about him that he always makes me laugh, and I'm really proud of him. A 13-year-old today being laid to rest, mourned and remembered by so many at this church. Again, that celebration of life starting at 11 a.m. today. And as for the investigation, I did talk to D.C. police today. There are no updates, just that the investigation is ongoing. A grand jury convened earlier this month to decide whether or not to bring charges against the shooter. But ultimately, it will be up to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Back to you. All right, Juliana Valencia reporting live for us this morning. Thanks, Juliana.